Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to do some concrete coasters. Um, they're going to be round and we're going to have a little glow-in-the-dark element to them. So for these coasters, I'm going to be using a round cookie cutter and this is pretty big. This is much bigger than our typical coasters. This is the size of our normal coaster. So these are going to be super sized. You bring home that huge Slurpee, you can put it on this coaster. You can obviously size it smaller, um, just get a smaller cookie cutter. You can actually pour it, if you do it, um, the concrete a little bit thinner, you can pour it into the regular coaster molds if you wanted to. But for a little change of pace, we are going with a cookie cutter. So you want to mix this stuff on a four to one ratio, and that'll give you the clay consistency. So I used two cups of shape creep to one um, half a cup of water, and sometimes you need to adjust it just a little bit depending on how it all comes together. So I think this is pretty good. Now I don't use a rolling pin or anything. I kind of like to wing it a little bit. Throwing it down on my silicone mat, you could work on aluminum foil just as easily. Okay, when I get it the right size, I press it down, and then I'm going to take any excess off with my fingers just like that. Now while it's in there I'm going to take the back of a paintbrush. I'm just going to make little indents. And I want to leave the natural color of the concrete for this project. Um, you certainly don't have to. If you wanted to color it with something you can paint it after. Um, that's just not the look that I'm going for this time. Now I also you like to use the back of a skewer stick and just clean up that edge. And then I'll take some more. Do the same thing. And because I'm doing this kind of freehand, they're all going to have a little bit of a different um, depth to them or thickness to them. And they'll all look a little bit different, which is what I like. I like the kind of free flow natural look to it. I like it when things look handmade and they don't look perfect like out of a factory. But you do want to get it mostly flat on the top so that your big old Slurpee has a place to sit. These things are nice and dry. Now I'm going to paint them with my glow-in-the-dark paint. This will soak it in so I'm not sure if I'll do like a, a thick coat because I kind of like when it just kind of soaks in and gives it a wash. So we'll just have to see how it looks. This is the paint just from the craft store. The glow-in-the-dark paint has dried and it still has that concrete look but it lightened it up just a little bit so I like the color and I'm using this powder, it's glow-in-the-dark powder that's supposed to be really really good. Um, it's kind of expensive, I got it off of Amazon and I'll have it linked. You might be able to find something less expensive but I wanted to try it because it's supposed to be good. It came um, like in these sample packs and I'm going to try the, the pure blue and I think an ounce will be enough. So I did an ounce of the Easy Cast. I'm going to pour quite a bit in here. I don't know if I'll put it all in. What I did to prepare these is I put clear packing tape on the back. Just clear packing tape, burnished it down so that, you know, the ones where I pressed through harder and there were holes, that we aren't going to lose any of the resin when I drip it in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to very carefully, once I get this nice and mixed, I'm going to carefully just drip it right into, right into these holes. And then of course take your lighter, pop the bubbles, and then just let that sit a minimum of 12 hours, and then we'll see how it looks, and if this glows as well as I hope it does. The concrete coasters have set, the resin has cured, so we need to just peel the tape right off of the back. Now I went with just the plain color and then with that glow-in-the-dark color over it. So it does still have more of a natural concrete look to it, which is what I was going for. Now you can certainly paint it like we did with the Valentine Concrete Heart Coasters. Um, or you can also tint it. And I have some tint for that, the shape crete. I have not used it yet, but I will definitely use it in the future. And I'd like to say that I did these perfectly. They're all different sizes, which I was fine with because I did want it to look kind of like more of a rougher kind of a set. Now this one is a little thinner on one side and thicker on the other, but it holds my teacup just fine. So we're good. 
they all do. We're stable on them all. What more can you ask for? And because it's the concrete, it can take a hot cup rather than just cold. And these resin dots are pretty small, so I think it'll be okay where it's not gonna stick to it. Now, here's the most important part. We need to see how well this glows. And this being the powder, it should glow pretty well. And remember, you can always use um, the other glow-in-the-dark paint. You can use glow-in-the-dark glitter instead. Um, use whatever you want to make them glow. And you don't have to use them as coasters. You can just put these out in the garden and they will, you know, glow at night. So let's see what it looks like with the lights out. Ooh, look at that. Now, it's really hard to see the yellow. If I throw a black light on it, you'll see the yellow. You can see it in person, but the camera just never picks up the glow-in-the-dark very well. I can see it even without the black light in person, but the camera just never picks up on it. Be sure to let me know what you think of the coasters in the comments below, and I'm kind of a sucker for glow-in-the-dark, so I'm having fun kind of experimenting even with the concrete. I have some other concrete crafts besides the coasters coming up, or I have them in mind. I haven't gotten that far yet. Now, before you leave, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and we will see you next time. Be sure to check out some of my other videos in the meantime, and remember, happy crafting and stay safe.